video is sponsored by Skillshare, the online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for the creative and curious amongst you. Skillshare is a place for you to explore new and existing interests and skills taught by professionals with real experience, covering the topics from drawing and photography to business and marketing. I first became interested in Skillshare after looking for a way to learn a digital illustration app called Procreate on my iPad. The platform was very intuitive, very easy to use, so I was able to find classes covering my request, like for example the one called Intro to Procreate, illustrating on the iPad by Brooke Glaser. This class is split it into short lessons and it gave me absolutely all knowledge that I needed, so from a complete newbie in the beginning, I became quite an advanced Procreate user and I use it literally every day. So after this I followed probably about a hundred of different classes on Skillshare, mostly on digital illustration, but also on photography, productivity and video editing. So if you are curious about Skillshare and you want to give it a try, you have an opportunity to explore the Skillshare class library completely for free, because the first thousand people to use the link in the description box under this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare, so please go there and check it out, I'm quite sure you're gonna like it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, today we're finally going to make a doll for the first winner of my 600,000 followers doll contest. If you remember, I asked you to draw doll designs, send them to me, I received uh, almost 900 of them and then out of these 900 amazing artworks, I've picked up two winners. So today it's time to make a doll for the first winner and I've decided to start with this beautiful mushroom fairy created by Małgorzata from Poland. Honestly, I was looking for a special mushroom doll design already for a long time. I really wanted to make a mushroom doll with a mushroom head, but I didn't want to go for this typical mushroom like with a red head with white dots on it. I was looking for some very, very, very special doll design and I think that this doll is a very, 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 very special one. It's inspired by turkey tail mushrooms and also by dragonfly their wings. I think this is a stunning doll, stunning design with lots of details. Really, Magojata, thank you so much for your creativity. I'm going to let uh, her Instagram in the description box under this video, so please guys don't forget to go there and to check Magojata's other artworks. She's a very, very talented designer. So guys, this is it probably, let's start working because I'm really worried about many details <laughs> on this makeover, you know, first you're picking up a winner and then you start thinking, oh, yeah, how am I supposed to make it all, because like the mushroom skirt, the hat, like there is a lot to make today, so guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, of course support my art here on YouTube with your like, and of course support Malgojata's art also with your likes on Instagram. So guys, and now let's start working. And this makeover I'm going to start actually with making her outfit. Let's change the order for once. Normally I start with the face, but we cannot really see the face this time on the original picture. And the main star of this look is of course the outfit. So let's start with the most difficult part of this project. Let's make the mushroom skirt first. And I'm going to use the foam paper for it, so I'm going to start with drawing and cutting out the whole bunch of mushrooms. So here are the mushrooms, it took a while of course to cut them out, but now we are going to attach them to the base of the skirt, and the base of the skirt I'm going to make out of this blue foam paper.
guys, this is it. I had to cut even more mushrooms because what I had prepared earlier wasn't enough. But check it out, it looks absolutely stunning and there are even more mushrooms on this curve than on the original picture. But I think it looks really big, really gorgeous, really happy with the end result. So, and now I still need to paint it because it will also be some job. Here we are three days later but the end result is stunning really so 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 pretty such a gorgeous mushroom skirt I'm really proud of the end result and you know I think I've managed to make it look quite close to the original sketch now I still need to make the corset, the magic stuff and the mushroom hat. And let's start probably with the mushroom hat because I was really looking forward to it. I always wanted to make a mushroom hat like this. And I will be using foam clay because it's very light and hopefully it will not overweigh like the rest of her body. So let's take it and let's make it. Let's sculpt the mushroom hat.
Okay, this is where I've ended up. Now I need to let it dry very carefully for a couple of days. The packaging says it requires 48 hours, but I already know from my experience that it always takes more than two days for bigger pieces. So I will let it dry for sure for 72 hours. And meanwhile, I can make a corset and magic stuff because they require quite a similar technique. I start with making a basic corset out of Warbler Thermoplastic and this step is very easy. I really love Thermoplastic for it. Then I'm sketching all this mushroomy texture on her corset with a pencil. Okay guys, now check it out. I've bought this new product lately. I haven't tried it yet, but I think this is exactly what we need today because it's like a 3D paint with a set of very, very tiny nozzles. I've never used it before, but I hope it will help us to create this beautiful 3D texture. Okay, it looks really, really promising, I would say. The packaging says to wait 72 hours before painting it over, so let's put it aside and let's make your magic stuff, also using Warbler and this 3D paint. So this is where I've ended up, now let's wait for 72 hours and let's see what will happen. Okay guys, everything seems to be dry and still looking really good, very happy about it so far. So now we can start painting it all.
Okay, this is where I've ended up with the hat. I think it looks super cool. I really love it. And now I still need to decorate it with the chains. And after it, yeah, we're done with it. This is the finished mushroom hat, it looks absolutely gorgeous, so now let's paint the corset and the magic stuff. Well, it's really difficult to believe, but it looks like I have finished almost all the big and difficult parts of this look. I will still make a pair of wings for her, but I will do it later when her body is blushed. So, now I think it's time to put all this aside and finally take a look at the doll that we will repaint today. Normally we do it in the very beginning of the video, so this time it goes a little bit different. I've decided to use Frankie as my model, it's been really a while since I've repainted a Frankie doll and I kind of feel like I miss it because they have really the prettiest faces and I really feel like she will fit the vibe of this project, she will become a perfect mushroom fairy I think so let's quickly undress her, let's cut her hair off, disconnect her head from the body after warming it up with a hair dryer and then I will remove her face with pure acetone Thank you. 
Aha, it looks like the previous owner has cut off the spin in her neck. It doesn't really matter, but I don't see it that often. Okay, everything is gone and I can finally spray her face with Mr. Super Clear Sealant to make her face very matte and then we can start the transformation. And first of all I want to change her skin tone from this green into light nude. So we don't really know that much about her face, honestly we can see just her dark blue almost black lips, so for the rest I can do whatever I want I guess. And I think I will go for quite dark smoky eyes and blue eye color to match the blue theme of the look.
Okay, now I think the face looks really good. Now we can move on to the body because now it looks like from another person, let's be honest. But before I go on and blush it with soft pastels, I want to make a hole on her back for the future fairy wings. And I will also cut off this pin on her neck. And for the rest is kind of a regular body blushing procedure. Well, the face and the body finally look like the parts of the same person. Very good, I'm very happy about it. And now let's make a pair of fairy wings. And I'm going to use Warbler Thermoplastic for it. And also a piece of extra sticky Warbler to make this pin that will hold the wings on the back. Okay, it looks very nice to me, it fits the doll, I think we can paint them now. Here are the wings guys, they look really like on the picture I think and I'm really so excited to put them together with the rest of the outfit but I want to work on her hair first, yes we still have to make her hair, she has black wavy hair on the picture and I'm going to use black acrylic yarn to recreate this hair too. And first of all I will like usually turn this black yarn into hair and after this I will attach it to the doll's head using tacky glue.
when the glue gets dry, we can start curling and styling her hair. So this is the final result, I'm really happy about the way it all looks. So now we can attach her false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and then we'll talk about the very last tiny details, we are almost there guys, we are almost done. So the doll on the drawing wears gloves and a choker. I was first planning to make both out of lace, but now I see that lace would be kind of too thick and it would also look too much like fabric next to all our mushroomy textures. So I've decided to draw them on the doll. I think it will fit the rest of the look much better than some lace or two gloves. And this outfit I'm going to complete with this pair of Monster High sandals. So guys, and this is finally the finished doll and I can tell you honestly that this was some journey this time. It will probably be a very, very, very long video today, but you know I also worked on this doll for a very long time. This project has a lot of unusual and very original details and I had really a lot of fun working on it. I don't even know which parts of these projects are my favorite, honestly. I really love this skirt. I wasn't sure if I could make it as pretty as the one on the Malgajata's picture. But I honestly think it turned out really extremely pretty. Really love it. What do you think, guys? Am I the only one loving this skirt? And I also really love the mushroom hat. I also wasn't sure if I could make it like pretty and realistic and similar to the picture. But it also turned out much prettier than I expected, honestly. So thank you so much, Malgajato, for this beautiful project, for this fantastic doll idea. It was really fun for me working on it, and I really hope that it was fun for you as well. Please, guys, don't forget to let me know what you think about this doll, which parts of it were your favorite, and also please send some love to Malgajata. You can find her Instagram in the description box under this video and I think she deserves all the love in the world for this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful project, for this beautiful drawing. So in the next week I'm going to ship this doll to Poland to its new owner and I really hope that Malgajata will enjoy it as much as I do. So and that was my doll transformation of the week guys, I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you very soon in the next one, I don't know, maybe next week Friday, maybe in two weeks, working on a couple of projects, might finish one of them by the next week Friday. So hit the bell button to get notified and I will see you next Friday. Love you guys. Bye!